Our topic for this lecture would be to download R into our machine. With that, we're going to click the download R button and we're going to open it in a new tab. Also, we're going to click on the mailing lists button from R project and the downloads page here is r-project.org. Let's go to the mirrors and we'll scroll down to USA. If you're in a different country, you can move up to your country or just do a control F find for the country. So with that, let's do a download from Berkeley. And here you can select which version of R you're looking for. So you can either select your Mac, your Linux or your Windows. We're going to go with Mac. And we can select one of these. We're just going to go with the most recent version of R. And you can see that the R is now downloading. So let me just go over the mailing lists until that downloads. In the mailing list, the R help mailing list, as it says, is the main R mailing list. And if you want to keep learning about what problems and solutions are coming up with R, or you want to understand what new functionality of R has been introduced, you can join this mailing list. And I would very much suggest you to join this mailing list. And with that, we can see that our download is halfway. So let me also introduce you to the R Studio. If you go down to rstudio.com, you can see that there's a website which provides an IDE for R. So it says, Welcome to R Studio, open source and enterprise ready professional software for R. This is another way of saying a GUI version of accessing R. So you can do a download of R Studio as well. And I would very much suggest R Studio. R Studio is something I use. If you see this R Studio open here, it has a beautiful console. It has a lot of development environments for you. And it, you can do a lot of coding as well as viewing your plots. And it supports lots of other functionality, which we're going to be discovering in this course. You can do a desktop download. Do R desktop explains all of the open source additions here and it's going to now bring you to the downloads page and you can do the correct download that you're looking for. We can see that our download has completed for the R. We can do continue and we can do continue as well and the license I would suggest you to read as well as the readme. I'm going to click continue and agree. You can either install for your own user but if you have other users you can install on a specific disk and then you can select your install location. I'm just going to click install. For this you require your administrator password and you can see that the installation is now in progress. If we come to our studio here you can see the supported platforms underneath here are a couple of examples of where you can install it. We're going to go with the Mac OS install. And you can see that the installation is successfully completed. You can close this out and then we can do the same thing for the R Studio install. It's a very simple installation. And with the advent of forwarding, we have increased the speed of the install and it's done installing and it's going to open and we can click on R Studio and that's our installed version of R Studio. And here's our R Studio. So thank you for joining me here and let's dive on straight into R code and we'll be taking a look at some of the basics such as taking a look at variables and taking a look at how and what we can do with this window, which is the R Studio window. Thank you.